Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we'll show how to use D5 Scatter to complete a landscape design from scratch. When populating the riverbanks and mountains with vegetation in large scale, it is practical to use low poly trees for efficiency as they typically serve as background elements rather than focal points. Navigate to the top toolbar, select Add Scatter, select Material to activate the D5 Scatter tool and press the shortcut key X to convert multiple materials into a scatter surface at once. Select Image Divide, Choose a preset map to create sub-areas based on the map's color blocks and adjust the number of divisions as needed. Now, you can scatter different plants from D5 Asset Library within each sub-area, adjust the scaling parameter to tweak the size of the plant model and click on the seed icon to swiftly refresh the vegetation layout. The same goes for scattering vegetation on the mountain. For a more advanced touch, you can define their distribution pattern using a black and white map, where black pixels indicate no plant. Fine-tune the density, cluster size, and cluster blur settings to achieve a more organic appearance. Adjustments to the map's UV will further customize the vegetation distribution. Crank up or down the probability of occurrence of a particular type of plant if you want to have more or less of it in the design. Repeat the process to complete the rest of the landscape design. Parameters in the Transformations panel can randomize the overall size, orientation, and position of plants in a sub-area. In addition to a variety of trees, you can also scatter grasses and flowers from D5 Asset Library with its extensive selection of plant species, creating a lush and richly vegetated environment has never been easier. Aiming to streamline the landscape design workflow, D5 has incorporated dozens of scatter presets from dense forest to fertile farmlands, Select the preset you need and create a scatter surface. Done. Effortlessly and swiftly. To achieve precise placement of vegetation, you can still make use of the fill and brush tools. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching!